Hi there, welcome to Exam AZ 900, Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. This is episode 47, Microsoft Trust Center. My name's Tim Warner, I'm happy to be your instructor. Today's skill in the AZ 900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Objective Domain starts with Describe Security, Privacy, Compliance, and Trust, passes through Describe Privacy, Compliance, and Data Protection Standards in Azure, and the specific skill today is Describe the Trust Center. TimW.info forward slash AZ900SG is where you can get an interactive table of contents. For this lesson and the next few, we're going to be reviewing some of the websites that Microsoft wants you to know for your AZ900 certification success. Instead of slowing things down with slides, I'm going to present these websites strictly in demo. So let's get to it. Before we look at the Microsoft Trust Center, I wanted to go to privacy.microsoft.com just to remind you of the Microsoft Privacy Statement. I found as I was navigating these various Microsoft Azure related websites that it was too easy to confuse them. So I wanted to make sure to cover this ground. Remember that privacy.microsoft.com is where you can look at all of Microsoft's official stance on privacy, your data, data collection, etc. Etc. Specifically, though, this lesson is about the Microsoft Trust Center, which you can find by going to microsoft.com forward slash trust dash center. And the main things you can see here right up at the top global navigation, there's three main parts of the Microsoft Trust Center, security, privacy, and compliance. If you open each of these menus, you'll see a link to an overview page, and then you can drill in to how Microsoft handles the shared responsibility model. Remember that from the beginning of this study guide, where Microsoft in the Azure Cloud provides the infrastructure and the tools, and then it's you as a customer, your job to use those tools to take care of the care and feeding of your application services and ultimately your data. You also can browse through the security menu to look at Azure-based security products, information for Microsoft partners. Now, I keep mentioning Azure. Note that this isn't the Azure Trust Center, it's the Microsoft Trust Center. So it's a one-stop shop if you're interested in learning more about how Microsoft gives assurance on security, privacy, and compliance, this is where you want to go. Speaking of which, we've got a privacy menu here, and this is why I wanted to make sure you remembered the privacy statement, which is a different site from the Microsoft Trust Center. There is overlap, of course. You can read Microsoft's attitude and policies regarding privacy and then there's data management info on how Microsoft products and services support GDPR regulations and then there's resources lastly under compliance this is where you can go to read about how Microsoft products and specifically in Azure lines up with the various regulations and certifications available in the world for instance if we come down to compliance offerings we can see all of the attestations depending upon what product you're talking about, whether it's the Azure Global Public Cloud or the Government Cloud, industry and regional compliance patterns, and you can read specifically of Microsoft's attestations of each of those compliance offerings. Lastly, in the compliance menu in the Microsoft Trust Center, there's this cloud services due diligence checklist, which is really a good example of how Microsoft is looking at potential competitors like Google Cloud and AWS as partners. Specifically, Microsoft understands that businesses may want to put their services not only, say, in Microsoft Azure, but also in another public cloud for cloud level resiliency. So this is a checklist where you can, as this says, identify your objectives and requirements before choosing a cloud service provider. And if you scroll down, there's even instructions as well as the worksheet itself. This is really nice of Microsoft to give you this guidance, even though it's not tied strictly speaking to Microsoft Azure. Learning resources, number one, to go to the Microsoft Trust Center, go to timw.info forward slash MTC1. And if you're looking for a third party review of how to use Microsoft Trust Center, the Windows Club has a pretty good blog post, timw.info forward slash MTC2. Well, there you have it. Our next episode, again, keeping with this theme of important Microsoft Azure websites, will examine the Service Trust Portal. In the meantime, you can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. My plural site courses are timw.info forward slash ps, and my website is techtrainertim.com. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next episode.